Healthcare systems that really care about health focus a lot on prevention and on health education. But the traditional methods of health education and prevention that most healthcare organizations use are not going to connect well with young people. Educational theater is a health education program particularly targeted at young people. And it's designed to use theater, music, and dance as a way of imparting critical health knowledge to young people and engaging them in caring about their own health. So instead of a lecture, instead of an online course, instead of a pamphlet or a book, it engages young people in understanding their health and in answering questions that they have about their health and well-being. Educational theater employs young people. These are young people who are trained actors. They're also trained health educators. So they're health professionals and they're professionals in the arts. And they bring both of those capabilities to their work. So they are absolutely brilliant at helping young people identify with them, using their language, uh, being people that they can respond to and recognize and listen to. I've been acting for a good portion of my life. I studied it in school and I like working with kids and I like performing. Watching a student's eyes bright up, we take them into a different, completely different world for an hour and they are able to act silly with us but also at the same time learn the different concepts of what it means to eat healthy and be active. Educational theater began almost 30 years ago. The original shows were targeted at primary grade children. To eat healthy, be healthy, be active, and so forth. Then we moved up over time into the middle school areas. One of the most popular was Nightmare on Puberty Street. Your body starts to change, you start to think and wonder about different things, you don't feel normal. My name is Nick and I really don't see why we even have to go through puberty. Then up into the high school years, one of the most iconic programs is Secrets, which is about the transmission of HIV, which was very controversial when it first came out. Our tattoos say, can I get it from oral sex? Can I get it from oral sex? What about kissing? So we've actually measured the extent to which kids take in the information that's provided in an educational theater presentation and retain that information. And the results were consistent, that the information got through, uh, that they knew more after the performance than they did before, and that they retained that information over time. A lot of the time that is not the case, unfortunately, with, uh, with health education programs. And we've seen educational theater be able to break through that. And I think this is absolutely the kind of messages that our kids need to get, and especially from young, you know, young people of color who they can receive the messages from, who they can look to, who they can connect to, who they can respect. It's really wonderful for them to get the messages from them, from you know, people who feel like teenagers, people who feel like they could be their friends. When you can tell that the student has gone home and told their parents about the healthy messages that we teach them, and then the parent comes back and asks you questions or asks for resources on how to learn how to cook um, healthy food at home or find ways for their students to be active um, outside of school. It's pretty great. One of the places that educational theater has now become extremely important for us in is our Thriving Schools initiative. So our Thriving Schools program takes and links up all the different things we do, our community health initiatives, our HEAL programs to have healthier foods in schools, to have after-school activities available for young people, our mentoring programs to help people who are interested in health careers learn about health careers, um, our educational theater program, all the things that we do, plus one in five of our members is in a school every day. So we care for a lot of the people in those schools. We can tie all those things together and see can we have a really concentrated effect on those people's health and well-being. Educational theater is a central part of that work in schools.